Everybody's got a story. You got a story, I got a story. We've all got stories. But my story is a Christmas story. You might even think it's a miracle Christmas story. But I'll let you be the judge of that. Anyway, I'm going to start my story. I'll tell you what, I'll start it right about here. He doesn't know where he is. Yeah, Tom Fox. That's my name. Some people call me Fozza. I don't know why they call me Fozza, but because she's longer than me first name. If that's what they want to call me, I don't mind. They can call me whatever they want. Anyway, we're working at a motocross this weekend. My mate's got a donut van. And um, part of the perks of the job, I guess you could say, get to go to different events and stuff like that. But, yeah, no, Davey's all right. He works hard and, oh, look, I don't mind. As long as I get a paycheck at the end of the day, everything's hunky-dory. Cody Cooper. Have a look. He's autographed. Mate. And I didn't even have to pay to get in. Yeah, I've got to find something to protect that. That's worth a lot of money, though. Tom, you were gone for three and a half hours. Oh, mate, I had to have a look at the, the first race, and that's all I said to you the day before that we'd have a look at the first race and just come back. turn up willy nilly all the time. Is it going to be the same tomorrow when you turn up tomorrow and the finals is on? You know, I'm with other people and I haven't really worried about it like this, mate. Don't get your niggas in there, not just because you're not one of the ones on the box, no, mate. But normally, when we work in the van, we've got one in the deep fryer, one doing the bags, and one serving, and we didn't have that chain today, Tom. Settle, yeah, you weren't there. Like business, mate. Hey? Run a business, mate. What, what, didn't you sell enough donuts? Oh, you think it's all about money, don't you? Well, mate, what, what, what's it about, mate? It's about if you're worried about me being off for three and a half hours or something, what are you worried about if you can't sell all the, your donuts that you want? I'm not getting angry, I'm just saying the finals is tomorrow. Yep. It's on Sunday. And I'll need someone there in the morning. Yep. And if you just go walk about, then I've... I'm, I'm gonna have to get someone else in, Tom. All I'm saying, and all I'm saying is I'll be on board tomorrow, don't oh, worry. It's the finals tomorrow, mate. I said to you before, I'll be on board. It's ridiculous. Every time I get in a job, he lets me down. I tell him 10 o'clock, Mosey, they do most of their practice. 
You're not worth your money, mate. I can tell you that right now. You're not worth one dollar. Yeah, well, you're not going to get your rent money if you don't pay me, eh? Why should I pay you? Well, how am I going to pay you your rent if you don't pay me? You're never there anyway. What do you expect, mate? It was a motocross. I said, don't take me to the motocross then if you want me to work. You never rock up on time. Yeah, you never rocked there. up though, didn't I? Just, mate, you know, it's just ridiculous. You know, I told you to be there at 10 o'clock. Jeez, man, like, you know, you still owe me all that rent. Yeah, well, that's exactly right, mate. I owe you the rent money, and if you want the rent money, then you've got to pay your workers. Well, mate, you've got to work. If you don't work, you don't get money. Well, you know, that's not my problem. How do you reckon I got into the place? You were wearing one of your t-shirts I gave you. Yeah, how do you reckon I got a t-shirt? Because I was working in a van. Oh, I'm trying to run a business, mate. I told you to turn up at 10 o'clock. You got there at 12, mate. You got any more chips, mate? <sighs> oh, this coat's getting old. As if you're gonna pay me back, mate, you still owe me rent. Oh, if it was gonna be such a hassle, I wouldn't have said anything, would I? Mate, you can grab one, but that's the last, okay? He reckons he's a bricky and he reckons he worked up in the mines and all this sort of stuff, but really and truly, like, he doesn't really have many skills. Like, if if he's if he's a bricky, I'd I'd hate to see his work. <laughs> he walks around the house, he leaves dirt everywhere. He doesn't clean up after him. I'm constantly wiping his bum. I'm vacuuming all his dirt. I'm running around after him. Actually, he's actually a grown up baby. I'm striving to be a better person and he's striving to be not a better person. He's striving to do everything opposite. <laughs> it's like he's fighting you in a lot of ways. It's like he fights you. To, to, like if you try and do the right thing, it's like he wants to do the wrong thing all the time. It's just like, I just don't want him around in the house anymore because he, he's affecting me. He affects me. Yeah, g'day Colleen. How are ya? Yeah, not too bad, yeah. Um, yeah, do you reckon we'll be able to handle it, just the two of us? Yeah, that's what I thought, yeah. It's a little bit different though, being the motocross and stuff though. I mean, this is a kid's fair. What am I going to do at a kid's fair? Tom, we've been through this, mate. No, you said to me that I could work as long as I pull me weight and you know, you're not giving me a fair go because that's the motocross and you know how much I, I like motorbikes. Why should I give you a go, or give you even a run, when there's other people that are going to work twice as hard as you? Yeah, I understand what you're saying, but do you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> you're hardly at the motocross, mate. That's the motocross. That's what I live for, mate. Look, you know, the first time like we walked that. off for three hours, and the second time I didn't even see you. And you want me to give you a chance? Oh, come on. If a lot of people know me, what can I do? They're saying, hey Tom, come here, come here. Oh, you know, Cody wants to see you. Hey man, what do you reckon of these oils? What do you reckon of this? Do you use that? Do I use that? I mean, people were hassling me. What am I supposed to do? Next minute I would have been signing autographs if I was on the track and stuff. I mean, you take me to a place like that where I'm recognised and I've got a bit of fame, that's what's going to happen, isn't it? I mean, you know, but I'm not going to be recognised at a kid's fair, mate, with two four-year-olds. You know, we're talking toddlers, mate. You know, we're talking, <laughs> mate. You know? <laughs> we're talking little kids. You can laugh all you want, mate, but what am I going to do at a kid's fair, mate? Yeah, we wondering last week. It's going to be freezing down there. You won't enjoy it. You haven't even tried me out, mate. I mean, gee, even... Some blokes try out for six weeks, isn't that the law or something? Oh, I don't know, man. I know you. You can't handle the cold, Tom. I can give you one more chance. 
but just you're worrying too much. Like I said, Tom, I'll give you another chance, but like you better not go wandering, eh? Yeah, and like I said, what am I gonna do at a kid's fair? You tell me. And we'll both know. It's always jacks I'm making fact to back my acts Everybody wants to change my mind If it's not yours, it's gotta be mine To pay the bills, to pay the rent Shake your shoes, you're not my fan If you wanna come from lust to fan You gotta come and jump around Jump around, jump around Jump around, 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 jump around Mate. Yeah, that's a out. That was awesome. That's better, they're better than the other ones. More bounce. <laughs> Don't reckon I'd be freezing. But I had a few tricks up me sleeve, you see. In fact, after about 15 minutes, I had the whole place wired. How much for your moccasins? This one? 89, 55? 89. 70, Are they ladies' mockos? Yeah. Ladies. Different these days, aren't they? Yeah. Navy blue moccasins. My mate's got a van. Oh, okay. Yeah, don't have van. Yeah, I'll better keep going, okay. mate. Thank you. Good luck with your moccasins. Yeah, yeah thanks. Emerald will be 150 years old next year. Is that how old you are? 150 years old? Unbelievable. The guy's unbelievable. He's just unreliable. All the time. That one there's not bad. Give us five, mate. No. No, mate, it's six. Four. I cannot. You know what? I give him a chance. I bring him into my house. He eats all my food. Why chromosome? You need long Oh, not good for this one. Oh, you can wear it if you want to. No. Which one's for me? You tell me, and we'll both know. Whichever one you like. Whichever one I like. So you get the cycling, whatever you can still wear that. Cycling. Put your helmet out of the top. More change. Hold on, I'll get some. Oh, that one's eight. That one's eight. That one's got to be the winner. But not for twelve dollars. She's not. Uh, two donuts, please. So you can warm me up. Yeah, no worries. Thanks very much. Thank you. Excellent. Yeah. Has anyone ever told you to look like the guy out of Ghostbusters? Before, no? Because, um, you look a little bit like him. Oh, yes. Just a little bit. Well, here we come. You start at 10, you wander off an hour later for three and a half hours. You know what I mean? Yeah, well, we got over that, mate. I mean, come on. And plus the money, the money that you owe me. You owe me over a thousand dollars, mate. What do you think? I'm a bloody bank or something. I can't afford to keep you here, feed you and bed you and all that sort of stuff. You're just wandering around. Oh, mate, far out I'll go, mate. God, you're just unreal. What do you want me to do, mate? Well, mate, I want you to show some sort of consent. You know, it's just not easy here, mate. You know, it's not, money doesn't grow on trees around here. Jeez. It just it really gets to me. No, well, don't clean up then. Well, someone's got to do well, it. Well, I'll do it. I'll do it when I'm, when I'm ready to do it. So it hasn't been getting done. Well, it'll be getting done. If I don't do it, no one does it. I feel like I'm your mum. Hmm? Oh, mate, you wouldn't be my mum, mate. <laughs> 
This is a tough woman, yeah. Probably beat you up in the ring, mate. You told me you were going to go get a job. You had to look for any work. You know, I don't know. You know, I don't want no, no. I feel like I'm the bad man here. I feel like you're making me the bad man. Maybe you are the bad man. <sighs> Come on, mate. I'm the guy who's wiping your bum. <sighs> God. Look, if things don't get any better, I'm going to have to ask you to leave, mate. Whatever, mate. I don't know what to do. I don't want to be the bad man, but you've put me in this position. It just makes me feel wrong. Whatever, mate. I'm just checking, mate. Silver Bonanza, that's the one, isn't it? Race two. Well, how much is he putting on her? 20 bucks? What's he only putting 20 on? He said she's a sure winner. What? Oh, come on, mate. I'm putting a 50 on you. I'm putting a 50 on. Tell her to put a 50 on if she's going to win. It's 20 to 1. Well, he's only going to make 400 bucks if he only puts a 20 on her. He should go and put a 50 on him, make a thousand bucks. Yeah, oh, well, it's your call, mate. All right, mate, I just had to check which one it was because I wanted to make sure. It's not that Magnaster, is it? Yeah, nah, that's what I figured. All right, mate. No worries, mate, I'm getting on because she's on soon. Slide checks, Bold Adam, Valley Cotton trying hard, but no report is clear. And no report wins it. Scored by a neck. Second is Bold Adam. Third is the Fletcher. $2.66. One second, five will be the numbers. And Darrell having no luck in the run there. Well, she's certainly going with it after the winner, Scone. A couple of weeks ago, she's now four starts for three wins. Tari, Scone, and now one count. Nice feeling by David. Like any qualities, because they're both two and a half crowd. Yeah, they're going to chuck a 50 on uh, Silver Bonanza. What I just put the car down. Alright, mate, I'll give you that, do I? Yeah. Sweet, mate. No worries, thanks for that. Who you got? Who you got? 31 back and around the outside comes MG Rex to take it up. Pentacolo pushing on now. It's MG Rex out in front from Pentacolo. Then Silver Bonanza from by Tiller God's Racer. Ace is high ID. Come on. Two to Terrace and further back Magna Star and two last of all as a methist. At the 300, yes, Pentacolo pushes on, leads two lengths in front of MG Rex, and then Silver Bonanza by two of the first. I do blue on the inside of God's Racer from Aces High. Magna Star followed by Terrace, and last of all, Azamethus. At the 850 meter mark, and the leader is Pentacolo. Pentacolo Come on. Front. That's the time. Andy, a little in front now from MG Rex, the two and a half to Azamethus, half with the side of by two. Come on. Mate, you get a tip from a friend. You get a tip, he says he's a short winner. He runs the horse. He trains the horse. He says, don't, don't miss this one. He's got a good price on him and he'll win it. And what happens?
See, Dingbat doesn't know nothing about horses. He wouldn't know. See, when you get a tip, you expect the horse to turn up to the show, even if you get a place. But um, horses are like people, and um, they have moods. Look kind of like Dingbat has moods. And um, I mean, I can't do nothing about that. I can't do nothing about horses. I'm not a horse. You know, I can't do nothing about Dingback because I'm not him. But it's not my fault. That's the way life is. It's just a... It's just like horses. Races and stuff. But, like I said, Dingback wouldn't know about that. Respect for me. Come on. Dust and dirt never hurt anybody. So, Tom, what'd you have for breakfast, mate? Just some cereal and whatnot. Oh yeah, and what about the pie and all the mess you've got? Oh, the, the pie wrapper. Um, yeah, I just took it from the... Oh, the van, yeah, I was gonna put, put another one in there. Yeah, the, um... and what about the 50 bucks that you took from my wallet this morning? Yeah. I, only, I only borrowed 50 bucks because I just, I, Look, I got a tip from Phil for a horse, and if that horse had a one, which it didn't, I would have been able to pay your rent money back. You wanted your rent money back, and that's how I had to get it. I had to go into your wallet, get the $50, so I could get it on the horse, and get, because that would have paid 20 to one, I would have got a thousand bucks, which would have paid your rent. All right? Anyway, it didn't win, so I owe you 50 bucks. Mate, I've had enough. I want you out by the end of the week. Mate, I'm going, mate. I'm going today, mate. Don't worry, I've already packed. I don't think I'm dependent on you and sticking around this joint. Mate, I've got places to go, people to see, things to do, jobs to go to, proper work. Gosh, don't, don't think you're the one who's all in the know, getting all smart now, mate. Gee. Mate, I've got, I got, I got options. I've got options. I've been around, mate. I've been around a lot more than you know, mate. I got options galore, mate. I got Tom, he said he'd give me a place. I got Roscoe, he said any time. You know, any time he doesn't even want rent. <laughs> Plenty of places, mate. Plenty of work. Plenty of work for people who want to do it. That's what I say. Mel, how are ya? I'm desperate. I need a place to stay. Yeah, oh, Dingbat's gone off his rocket here. Yeah, no, oh, he's, I don't know, he's all, his business isn't doing too well and stuff, and he reckons I'm taking money from the till and that. I wasn't even working there. And you know how I worked those other two days? He's not paying me for it. Like, I mean, I spotted him a thousand dollars. You know, I helped him out, I drove him around places and stuff. Real friends don't do this sort of stuff, you know? They, they're there for you, they're supporting you. He's never supported me, he's never done anything for me. He's never made me feel good about myself. The more I do good for him, the worse he is to me. It's terrible. It doesn't matter, I've got work up there anyway. I can get work at your place. I, I, I've got to, I'm speaking to a guy tomorrow. 
Yeah, I can pay. I can pay rent. Yeah. Can I stay? Because, mate, there's no way I want to be here over Christmas. There's nothing he can do for him. It's almost. And he told me he was a brickie, and he's told me he's worked all these places, and he's told me he's done everything. But at the end of the day, it's like. You know, I don't know what sort of workmanship he's done because I tell you what, if it's his way of getting around in life, I tell you what, he hasn't got much hope, really. That's the saddest thing, he hasn't got much hope. Well, that's what I mean. You know, he's going on, oh, you must have stolen a thousand bucks. It's like this, like a, he's like a dog. He doesn't listen, he fights you. Oh, lab work. Yeah. All right, hang on a sec. I've got a call coming through. Hang on, it's it's probably cells. Look, my dad's always said to me, he said, if you lay down with dogs, you'll get up with fleas. How are you? Long time no here. Hey, you still got that car for sale? How much we want? It's not going, isn't it? We're not gonna get five grand if it's not going. Yeah, how much for rallies? No, I, can't, I haven't got the... Yeah, I am, but I need it today. Well, if I can get it fixed, can I take it off your hands? Well, I can't. Oh, well, I won't be able to pay at all. No, I need it today. Where, where, where are you going to be? No, no, it's got to be today. Can you leave a key somewhere? No, I've got a job up uh, near Wagga. Yeah, but I can pay you 500 a week, and over 10 weeks, that's five grand. Yeah. I'll just send it to you, or you give me your bank details. We'll just leave a key under the mat. No, I, I put. Yeah, no, I'm serious. Just put it on the. If you put it on the back left tire. Look, if I can't fix it, I won't take it. But if I can fix it, can I take it? the girl I'm seeing at the moment and oh look she's a bit of a dope but she goes all right yeah so she lives out in a place called um Carabona. it's near Wagga or somewhere West Wallam or yeah, it's kind of the same area where I'm from I'm from Griffith but yeah bricky by trade anyway they have this um they have this Christmas stuff. I can't stay there. And once I get there, I've got to quickly get a job. Athol Street, they call it. They light up all their Christmas homes, and they're the same people who own all the shops in town. And if I can get down with them, I should be right to get a job. Anyway, I've got a big show because um, her mum's the judge. The whole thing, she wears this hat. If I get the hat, well, then I'll get a lot of respect, you see. And They'll all be like, oh, you're judging it next year, you did such a good job. And I'll be like, well, oh, I don't know, I don't know if I've got a place to stay, have I? Like, oh, you can stay at our place, oh, yeah, well, let's see what work I get. What, what work do you do? Oh, mate, I can do this, I can do that. It's a real deal, they get a whole hamper and everything for the prize, but, um, I mean, I don't know if I'd have to supply that. Wayne Mills is a pretty good girl. She'll help me out, I'm sure. I just got to get that hat. Hold the star, hold the star. Thank you, Hold that star. Here we go. Here we go. Hold the star, darling. Hold the star. Hold on, the star has to go up here. Wait, hold. 
halt the proceeding. The star has to go up there by Holly. Star, where is it? I don't know. Oh, that's some rubbish I there. Oh. I have been judging the Athol Street housing decorations for Christmas for the last 23 years. One, it's a very two, unique position three. that I have. I'm the sole judge and it is, I've always valued it very much. It's been wonderful. Good girl, Holly. I look for an entertainment value. <laughs> Something that will appeal to all ages. Lanky. Sometimes when I'm there, I'll, I'll hear children squeal with delight. And uh, you'll hear adults. Ah, now that is a good sign. There we go. Oh, is that, that's a star there, Mum. Is that the one you're talking about? Oh, there we are. <laughs> Hooray! I am a little bit partial to the religious significance of it. Something to signify the holy message of Christmas. Now, I rather lean towards that. And it shows part of their their character too it's uh, they put so much of themselves in and that's that all adds to the variety of it all there is one there that i have just really enjoyed and it is the one with the, the rudolphs on the top and every and now and then something happens to one of the rudolphs i know one year his nose had disappeared his red nose had disappeared and everybody commented on it and i i, I think every one of us has their favorite so i wouldn't like to just say which one is my favorite time and again because each year it just changes just that little bit. I wanted to really stand it out because I am actually the chief judge and the only judge of the Athol Street celebrations and so I wanted it to be really, really something to to set me apart from everybody Put else. Put the star up there. One, two, three. Yay! Good girl, Holly. Good girl, Holly. <laughs> Cheers. Done, Our star up. placed the star. Whoops. Come on, come on, come on. Get in, you mongrel. There she is. The Sparky here, all right? These are your dogs, are they? Better tell them to watch themselves and mock you run over. Who's the little one? That's my cousin's kid. I'm looking after her. We don't have to look after her, do we? Gee, she's dirty. Howdy. How are we all? Hey, Mark. What? How was your trip? Uh, I'd be alright if it wasn't for the petrol crosses. Oh. I didn't have much time to waste. I had to get on to things pretty quick. So first I thought I'd scrub up and look real neat for Mel. She was me first target. You're telling me that she's been doing this Athol Street thing for 22 years? Yeah, nearly my whole life. That's unbelievable. I reckon I need to help her out a bit. I don't remember her not doing it. Don't you reckon I... Well, she's nearly 60. Have you ever helped her out and stuff? No. You never helped her out? No one's ever helped her out, have they? You sent her off in her hat. What's the criteria for a judge? Well, you ought to take everything into account. It's creativity, um, skill, level, colours. So I'm pretty creative on the guitar. My name's Mel, I'm from Warner. I'm studying home echo, but I don't really like cooking much, so... I like photos, so maybe there's something in that I could be a photographer. We maybe. take Christmas pretty seriously. It's a lot of work, it's a big thing, it's a big deal. I met Tom at Tempin Bowling Night. Yeah, he's funny. Apparently he's been in a band, he plays guitar, sings. Asked if I wanted to hang out again and I did. I mean, what does she do? She's a teacher, yeah? Yeah. I mean, I used to build houses. If anyone should be judging, or I should be judging, or someone who builds out, I mean... Oh, oh, it's not so much on the, the house structure, it's more on oh, the creativity of ooh. the artwork. Oh, yeah, but gee, think about brick lane, mate, and, and structure, and where you put the lights, that house will fall down in 20 years. If you put four mil, four and a half, you've got to have a good eye, creativity, that house is good as gold for like 100 years. 
That's what I used to do. All these architectures, they're sitting down doing the drawings and that, they get all the bloody credit. And I'm telling you, the brickies out there work nine or five, hardly have a smoke I break. They're the ones that should be getting the credit and the money. Yeah. And how do they pick the next, well, if she wanted to step down, mm. how would they give it to the next person? Well, she would have to choose the next likely candidate and pass it on. So she's got that much authority? Yeah, well, she's the head of the community. Okay. seen anybody train a cat. No. Cats are too smart to be trained and, and foxes no, are the same. <laughs> took this big rug out and put it on the lawn there yesterday to take Holly out. And she's having a lovely time. Well, here comes over. Oh, oh, oh. And I just, no. Anyway, got there. And every time I looked away, he inched further. <laughs> and then he stretched out and he rolled over right <laughs> next to him. The head's up. <laughs> yeah. Mel's mum could tell a ripper of a story. In fact, I reckon that night she must have told at least ten. I don't know, I lost count. To tell you the truth, I couldn't stop thinking of how I was going to get that damn hat. You might have to end up eating those dog bones for tea tonight because I'm not putting them back in the fridge. The dogs don't eat them, we are. All the time. Well, you see what happened. Oh, yeah. We'll get no, a let's see what happened. What happened? Get, get a plumber in. Oh, I'm sick to death of it. I've scored it myself. I don't know how many times the bloody thing's gone. Um, there you go. And it's fallen out and gone down in the sink. Right. Well, why wasn't well, it put in properly in the first place? Because you've got a bloody carpenter to come out. Unbelievable. Well, I've got a. Yeah, you figure that. Oh, I'm here to complain. Oh, who did that? Now, what was going on? I heard the noise and... Oh, what was going on? Is there anything in that? Oh, good. Oh, who would know? Anyway, look. See that like there? Right, well, move it! My mug was going to be a hard one to crack. But you know, I used to do this thing with my grandma when I wanted to feed. I'd just tell her to bring out some photos, and that's the way I used to butter her up, and she'd be doing the Charleston on the living room floor after one episode of that. So I figured if it worked for her, it's got to work again, doesn't it? We put a lot of hard work into it because we, like, we live K, lots of Ks away from one another when we meet couple of times a week and do this. I can't think what that one was. Um, but this was another one though. We had this and I think, yeah, we won. I think we might have won that. That's another one that Jenny and I are in. Do it. This year for See You Later Alligator, and Walsh got a, made herself a great big um, crocodile suit and swished up and down and grabbed the tail and swung it at everybody. And we're, in, we're having fun. Sitting in the back seat, hugging and kissing with Fred, you know, because of Prince Frederick. And we did dances to that sort of thing. And this year, I forget which country it is. I think it's some Asian country, but that this is, we won, had first one first prize in this, in the cultural day in the CWA. Dum, bum, bum. And I start off, that chick 
thing, she's so slick, and it goes on like that. And then she was singing, da da dum, da dum. She starts talking about how wonderful she is, you know. Oh, I can't remember the words, but it was. And the two songs merged into one. It was very good, very funny, very clever. But that's the sort of thing they do with the CWA. Yep, we smoothed over Mel's mum, no prob. Now we're just set to move on to Mel. An absolute cinch. Just bring out the old axe. That's the beat I was talking about. With bass and... Oh, man. Oh, with bass and drums. Think about it. If I had a wah-wah, you'd be like, mate, she was going crazy. Dad's really good at the timing. He can't anything, he just has to like, hear a song once and he can just play it. Couldn't do a rock beat though. Yeah, it's like country western. Yeah, not a. Like, that's a rock beat. Oh, I think if you listen to it, it's good. The girls are talking in the middle of the night. Everybody wants to know who wants to fight. So I'm making that up as I'm going along. See, Mel's dad was a guitarist also. Later that night he picked it up and absolutely tore it to shreds. told her how ugly she is. She doesn't know. Gradually over the years, I don't see her as ugly because she's, she's always seen herself as absolutely gorgeous. And there was a, a newsreader from over at, what's her name? She's just so ugly. And I mean, it's a big no-no. You never, ever have plain women on TV. Hey, Mark, can I have a quick word with you? Yeah. Just a about this Ethel Street thing I've been hearing you doing. How long have you been doing that for? Uh, 23 years. Yeah, no. I was talking to Mel before about it. She was thinking, gee, it's sometimes, look, she's a little bit upset, just quite. Yeah. You know, just that she's not getting to spend enough time with you around Christmas. All right. Yes, but um, I said to her, look, I might be able to help out a bit or, or maybe even I could do it this year. I mean, I'm pretty creative. I don't know if you knew that, but um, I've done a lot of sketches and stuff. But oh. look, just have a think about it and have a word with Mel too, because, yeah, don't tell her I told you anything, but I'm not asking you to make a decision on it or anything now, but, you know, I just, you know, I mean, she's your daughter, but, yeah. Just, just have a word with her and say, Mum, I think you better step aside. All right? But what exactly what did she say? She said, I've had enough. She said that. That's all she said. She said, I've had enough. Well, look at her. She's busy as now. So, she just needs a little bit of encouragement. You go up and yeah, talking to her, we'll yeah, probably just well, bring her over onto the other side. She's got the tap dancing, the bingo, raffle. She needs to wind down. I'm just thinking about your mum. Okay. All right, so just have a little word with her. Say, so, mum, hey, I think you're a bit busy. You've got the tap dancing, you've got the bingo rapple. Just 
Não na mãe? talking to from her daughter which was good. It's also a good thing your dad didn't know. He was too busy on the tap, wasn't he? By the way, did I ever tell you that Mark was a famous tap dancer? Yeah, he used to do a lot of brickwork. Hard work. But, um... Oh, uh, give me the arse on the last job. Never mind. Nah, oh, reckon I'm taking too many smoke go breaks. I don't even smoke anymore, gave up. What did you people bring? I oh, just threw everything in. I bought the um... Did you forget your costume? Yes. Wendy? Where's the stool? Where are you, your costume? Oh. Oh. Forgot. Can't believe you forgot. This is the last time I went to express the tea. Oh, and right. I still had to use that because the other day. I'm so used to you saying it's too... I'm at the front going, faster! I've got the tinsel for the handy, so I'm going to... I can wear my seat hat. <laughs> well, just give me a sign, all right? Well, I was screaming. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I've got the hat. Mark has got two. Cruising so far now, I just got to get myself a hamper. <clears throat> when you bang, it goes off and makes a song, but you've got to get the right pitch. Oh. Boo! You try it. Boo! Sneeze let it off. Oh, pandemonium in a minute or two. Oh, shut up, shut up, shut up. They put these headbanging things on it. 
Perhaps you don't want to know. <laughs> Big changes have come. Hello. 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 Do you want a beer? Uh... He's got a better, uh, it, it, yeah, and he, he's got a better uh, test average too. Yeah. But Warney's got the variety and he, yeah, really. and he pushes the ball through faster, slightly yeah. faster. Remember Iverson? Yeah. The, the freak spin that he had. He was a great now he was on the spot all the time, but it was just boring to watch it because it's on the same spot and the surface perfect. Warren will give you anything. To the new Apple Street judge. <laughs> Ones better for you. Yeah. So where's this hamper? Hamper? Mm. Cool. Oh, the thing. Nah, I didn't get one. Got um something better. What did you get? Don't worry, you'll see. It only cost me five bucks. Five bucks? I mean, it's better than what I usually get and cost them normally two hundred, so who's the genius now? That'd be a native medicine, like the Manuka honey, I would imagine. And like it's it's better than anything else they can come up with today. It is marvellous. Of course There's it no is. doubt yeah. about that. Yeah. Uh, it's just incredible. That's right. Starting to spit. You guys need some rain. Tell you what, it's pretty fucking dry. Uh, there she is. Bloody ripper, isn't it? Is that all you've got? Oh, mate, wait till you see her walking around and stuff. <laughs> you, know you said you used to light like torches? There you go. It's your Christmas present. That's your torch. Not anymore. Merry Christmas. Thanks. Not Rawley's, is it? No, it's not Rawley's, no, Mark. No, it's... Um... Oh, God, the name, but... I don't know, I'll get a kick out of that. Look at that. It's supposed to put helium in it. But, um... Cost another five bucks, so... Worked it away. Put some air into that, still looks just as good. It's just a shorter one. I had these blooming ringworms just on each knuckle there. Uh -huh. Oh, great big thing sort of thing. Uh, Nixoderm. Said, you get a tin of that and paint that on. Mm. And they just vanished in no time, and mm. I've used it on no end of things. And this bloke said, and I said, I wonder why the heck don't they make it today? <laughs> Better go suss these houses out. Well,
creeping through any yank with them and be talking at the top of their voice, smoking their cigarettes and cigars and dropping them. Our bloke wanted nothing to do but with them. But how about so much noise and so much ruckus that the enemy was able to retreat? So then they decide, right, we'll poison, we'll get rid of the forest. Men. They've just died so horrifically. The ants are good Since then. when it comes to years and power. Not, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Everywhere you look, there's something different. You've got the snowman here, who's drinking beers, and then suddenly, there's just a pole. I've got a feeling this one won last year because of that snowman. See that? They've snuck some lights in there. That one there is not working. That's the kind of thing I'll be looking for. There's another one not working. That's why they hide them in the trees. See that? It's not working either. Have a look at that center over there. <laughs> it's not bad. It looks a little bit like that cat at Mel's house. It's definitely the most realistic one I've seen. I mean, that there, you'd almost think is the baby Jesus. I mean, it looks a little bit like ET, but you're from a distance. Well, I got me the hat. It was like a miracle. But not the miracle I was talking about. washing machine sort of little um, motor that goes yeah and it's just underneath it? oh, it's a wheel because it's a nice like action yeah, just the wheel goes the around right and timing yeah, yeah, very good. it's a simple idea and it works I reckon this could be the winner because it's simple and it works washing machine Yeah, I must have walked up and down that street at least 50 times. Everyone was asking me for directions and this and that. I was like the centre of attention. They weren't even looking at the houses, they were looking at me. But um, oh, I found this little perch and then people could just come to me and I was like the storyteller telling them where to go and which were the best houses and this and that. And yeah, It was a good feeling actually. I already, already didn't mind it. I was a little bit tired, but you know, nah, it was, it was kind of... I don't know, Christmassy, I guess. You're gonna go in my ear, are you? Yeah, and he was sitting there. Eh? Sitting there watching his mate. His mate had real long hair and he was getting her a little Short ears for folks, long ears for dealers, if you ask me. Rowan's hair's very long. Yeah. But it's beautiful. Long, curly hair. Comes down to a little bit. Alistair's got pink hair now. Uh, pink hair! This nose, no, pink hair, hair this. Unbelievable. I, I mean, be next be minute they're not going to even have any air. Well, word got around pretty quick. Well, the next day, just about everybody knew I was the judge, including one Mr. Quinn. 73 on the two buses. You got you get buses going to your house? Yeah. They come from Coolamon? Do they have to pay? No. You want any competitions? No. If you're in town tonight and they're not rain, come up and have a look. We'll see what you think. No, I'll be there. Oh, I'm sure you want to know what I think. We're standing here tonight. I was at the post I was there last night and you see it from there. One of, the, one of the best you reckon? Yeah, yeah. You can see the toys in the daytime. Where are you judging them what was night? Talking standings and dancing standings. Talking standings. One reads a book. One reads a book? Yeah. Then Three. they didn't they Santa could read books. No, that's true. Wednesday night we had Sandy Claus, real Sandy. Just knock on the door. That's All right. I'll be home. I'll have to work it out. Oh, they're trying to con you, I tell you what, they all want to win. Unbelievable. I mean, how much pressure they put you put you on, you know? I've got this, I've got that, I've got this toy, like that. I'm not even wearing the hat and they're still having a go at me. These kids have got good, strong bowels, these Harris kids. Like, the, the, like Kai and Holly and Dallas. Like a whole patio garden. It's not dark enough, yet. That's when I knew she was going to be a long night. I'm nearly finished, so I've got one more thing to set up and a couple of toys. Alright, let's have a look at a few of the gnomes. Oh, have a look at that, that's a beauty. Mary made that, my wife. No, she didn't. She did so, we were painted for three months. Made it? Yeah. It's all hand painted. No. 
See your stomach going up and down his beard? It's not moving, is it? That's moving. <laughs> See that? Yeah, but those two have left them out this year, give them a spell. Those ones down the bottom, they sing and dance. Give them a spell? Yeah. How come? Oh, we've got plenty in here. Couple of toys in the garage and I was out of there. You still pick up the wall? This ain't gonna stop. One more, one more. That's one. Watch it, you're going to step on Santa Claus' head and no one's getting yeah. any presents. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you would. How would you do this? What's going on? I've got no, I've got two hands full. The other ones? Yep. You know where the other ones are? They're here, hang on. Hang on a sec. Well, I don't want to get caught up in any of this stuff. Well, I was just about out of there when Mr Quinn brought out the old gazebo trick. the music and these watch these lights. Wait, which lights? <laughs> Hang on, there's lights right. everywhere. You've got three books, see that? Because in case you haven't guessed, my special friend is you. Have a look at it now. Not Just as still not dark enough. Nothing. Whistles and that thing comes on. Didn't ya? Yeah. He did before. Whistled and it comes on. Here. Have a look. Here. Watch this. He whistles, he whistles and then it comes on. Well, some of them things now come on a whistle there. You see the whistle and everything lights up. Do you see that? Over there we've got a pump in the ground. It's getting to see how much better it is when it gets darker. Yeah, yeah, now it's getting yep. good now. There's no doubt about him. He somehow managed to chew up me whole night. Can't find it. We're looking everywhere. What's that? The Santa. It's gone. No prizes this year. That's all. Did you lose the Santa? I didn't lose it. You lost it. Well, where did you put it? Where did I put it? If I knew that, I'd know where it is now, wouldn't I? Remember it was in the... Look, it was in the lounge, then it was in the hallway. And remember when I said better keep an eye on that a couple of days ago? Do you remember when I said that? I've gone too far. You're just going to have to get another one. Mel, I've been looking for two hours. It's gone. Well, you should have got a hamper. I'm not getting a hamper. Hampers cost hundreds of dollars. Do you reckon I've got a hundred dollars? I don't even have a job. Have you seen it or no, not? No, I haven't seen it. Well, what did you do with it? Oh. If we knew where I left it, I'd be finding it now. Well, just calm down. I mean, you just... I am calm down. down. I'm calm down. You just have to get another one then. You're not. That's it. Forget it. They get nothing. They get, well done. Good house. Well done. See you later. I don't you care. I don't want a job anyway. Something. Yeah, yeah, just moved up. I said, I haven't got a job. And they looked at me and just said, oh, yeah, good luck. Did you what do they expect? Them? And they want a big buddy hamper. Did you ask? Oh, mate, please. Tell them to go jump in the Murray River or something. I didn't really know what to do. Usually they have like a $200 hamper or something like that and for the prize and well I didn't have $200. Gosh, I didn't know where to go. I didn't want to step foot back in that house. Not for a while anyway. There's only one place I could think of going there just to get away from it all. Is that light up there? That that one there? Yeah. But each year we sort of put a little bit extra to it. And we said this year we weren't going to put any more. This, that did was you? it. That's it. You're done that now. We did. We, you did. You put more in. Three. <laughs> <laughs> Too many. And the kids get here and they just love it. Oh, they do. Oh, yeah. It'll be a big one tonight too. 
one of those crowds here last night. Was there? Mm, yeah, and I get a hold of the rail and I, I don't want to go. No, I'm not going. Oh, you don't, don't want to <laughs> leave this one. Nah, it looks like Disneyland. Better. We only put it on for a week, so if we couldn't afford it, we wouldn't do it. I'll have to see it all lit up. No, that does. It looks quite pretty at night with mm. the lights on. And... <laughs> Those guys, if mentioned giving them a hand, but they wouldn't know what to do with it. <laughs> Have a look at that. I don't even reckon anyone lives there. Someone's just come along and dumped their rubbish, their extra parts. I was going to get a blow up scene or like that, but um, they ran out. I've seen that tinsel stuff on that tree before, that was from the neighbours. Bit of copying going on here. Great bear. Give them that. Looks about 120 years old. I reckon these are the ones that got the shop. No one around, but I rang on the bell, but I'll just wait. You'd think if they're the shop owners, they'd know how to put a head on Santa. I mean, have a look at that. Just wait here for 20 minutes. I think these are the carols, just quietly. The dog. I don't know where it is. I've looked everywhere. You just have to get another one. I'm not getting another one. It cost me five bucks. I don't have another five bucks. I don't even have a job. No one's helped me out. It's simple. There's just no prizes this year. That's all. Really? I'm the judge. Hey, I'm the home. judge. There's no prizes. Sorry. The impers are full of junk. Yeah. Old stock. Old stock. And they make people eat it. You could make it's one. Cruel. Not Put me. your own stuff in it. Get them a couple of lollies. It's for the kids anyway, isn't it? You didn't tell your mum, did you? No. Well, I had one more go at it. I had to get myself a job, and I had to pick the winning house as well. Everyone kept asking me if I'd seen last year's winners, so I thought I'd better go and check her out just to see what all the hoo are is. Japanese. Must be Japanese. Who the owners here? Who owns this joint anyway? Slipping in there and everyone look at you. Wouldn't want to do that. I actually like that. It's got no decorations on them. My mum used to have one of those. Look what the owners are. I'm not going to wait around. It's going to get in the prize, but. Too busy for the judge. Too busy for the judge. Too busy for prizes. Well, you know, it makes people learn to stop. <laughs> Yeah, below there be the main one. And and the lights above there too. Alright, yep, I'll wait. I'll just no worries. Oh, I know I've got to wait for this guy because he owns the shop. It's got a tool shed, I'm pretty sure it's this one, so I'll wait for him to do the lights and stuff. Or just maybe give him the prize because then, you know, I'm gonna give the prize to someone, you know, if I can get some work out of it. That's the idea anyway. Like There's Gibbs has the, the other one, Fantastic. and he also oh. did this one here, all did the he? all the uh, reindeer. Oh, fantastic! Unbelievable. Mm. And you get uh, candles by Car uh, carols by candlelight, which is a real good show. I, I watch it myself. But you see, all the little kids are all asleep. You'll never see a child asleep in Apple Street. No way. No. I can tell you because I've been walking through this place with a hat as big as anything, and not one of them looks at me. They're all looking at the houses. Yes, well, a fellow, a mate of mine told me the other night, he said Apple Street's had it. Well, there you are. there's the result now. Yeah. <laughs> We're lucky yesterday we got uh, nine and a half mils. Nine? Did you really? That much? Yeah. So you guys have got a shop, yeah? 
Yes. Uh, you reckon reckon I could like maybe try and work there or? Oh, uh, I don't think that I don't think that you'd be able to do the job that we mate, want you to do. Have a look at that. Yes, but uh, also yes, but for... no, nah, mate. I've been ripping barbells like that centre over there, just like that. Well, we want someone uh, with more or less uh, serving in the shop, and that. And I can do with that both. Like, look, what do you want me to do? I'll shave this off. You know, look at that. Why do cows have bells? Because their horns don't work. <laughs> I haven't heard that one before. Look at all this stuff. Looks like bird's guts, doesn't it? You win. This is it. I choose this one because I like simple stuff. No one own. Oh well, there we go. I'll leave this here. Don't know what it means. Had two lollipops, but I lost the other one. Well done, guys. You win. See you later. Thanks for having me and stuff. Sorry, it didn't work out as couldn't get much work around here. <laughs> Alright, see you, Mel. Thanks for the torch and whatnot. Um, Alright. Uh, what a waste of time this trip was. Anyway, what I'll do with that lollipop. Christmas isn't about how good the lights are, how big the turkey is, I mean. You gotta look at what's going on on the inside. Huh? My mum always said that Jesus is the reason for the season, everyone else has added all this stuff because of money. And it's right, you know. I don't see my parents anymore, they don't want to know me. Because I took their van for a spin once and sold it, but I still have a good time. Anyway, Merry Christmas. I get angry when you say those kind of things, don't I? Well, it's just how I'm feeling at the time. No, I never. I never said that. I said, no, I didn't. I said, I'll get work when I get there. But I didn't, I wasn't guaranteeing I'd get work straight away. I mean, gee, I had a, I had a whack, gosh. Just tell me what you're saying. Well, why didn't you say that? You tell me now. Why didn't you say it three months ago? Why 
Well, what, you didn't know then and you know now? What? You suddenly... Well, oh, I'm the same person as I was then that I am now. I'm, I'm, no, I'm no one different. Well, who cares what your mum says? What's that got to do with anything? Gosh, it's no sweat. It's no sweat to me. If you don't want to see me, I don't care. Well, I guess it is then. Well, I'm yelling now. <sighs> so what? That's it. You don't want to see me. That's it. Just, just like that, huh? Over. Just, that's it. Yep. Yep. No. 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 <laughs> Don't bother me. Alright, well, see you later then. Why should I let him into my house after he's done all that? Come on. You know what I mean? He's told me he's got all these friends anyway, all these places to go and all these all these things, so why is he knocking on my door?
quiet as it is. Nah, you couldn't get much quieter here, that's for sure. No, we hear the noise of the highway over the weekend. Yeah, yeah. It could be four lanes before long. Yeah, yeah, no, just the highway and that's all, otherwise... Otherwise, so you're, you're all on your own. Look, listen to it now. Yeah, peaceful, isn't it? Oh, it's beautiful. Bloody yeah. peaceful. You know, when we were kids, we used to run amok on old Toby Moncrief's property. He didn't like it too much, he was a bit of a cranky old man, but he'd always give us a feed and a drink. Even though we electrocuted all his cows. Anyway, he died about ten years ago. Along with a tree we used to climb. Apparently it was struck by lightning, but that's alright because I needed a focal point. You see, I did something I'd never done before. I prayed. Nah, I thought we'd just have a yarn because I figured that we well, started your journey in a manger and I'm not doing much better. I just sort of figured I'm not, I'm not asking for the three wise men or nothing, but I'm just saying, just send something my way. You know, something. That's all I ask. Because um, I ain't got nothing, mate. You know? Amen, I guess. That's all. Your turn now. Alright, I'm sorry I took the thousand bucks from Dave. and the 50 from his wallet. Sorry, I conned Mel and her mum for the Christmas hat. And, um, it's just, I guess all the times I lied and Never, never um, paid people back. I guess that covers the whole whack. And I guess time we bag snatched that lady wasn't a good idea. And that was fun at the time. And the car uh, burnt the cat on. Ellie's birthday. That's about all of them, I reckon. Oh, yeah, one more. All right, I'm sorry. Sorry I took fucks fan that day and sold it. I'm sorry about that.
It's got to be all of them, mate. Yep. She's all done, mate. Clean as a whistle, mate. wasn't the three wise men, it was even better, it was Dave Green, and that's the miracle I was talking about. Somehow that night sought me out real good. I've even started like cleaning up around the house and I've got some part-time work cleaning up some farms and saved up some cash and even bought myself a donut wagon. It was actually Dave's old one but he gone and done an upgrade didn't he? Oh mate he can do pies, hot dogs, hamburgers, you name it he's got it. Lucky bugger. Nah we're getting along alright now. <laughs> Hey, mate, picked up a pizza for us. And that's that two bucks I had for those dimmies the other day. Don't worry about it, keep it. Mate, take it. There you go, mate. Let's get this pizza on the table. Don't worry about it. I don't call him Dingbat anymore. You know, he's actually not a bad bloke when you get to know him. Mel, it's um, Tom here. Tom Fox. Yeah, yeah. Look, you know, oh, you know how I told you I didn't have that hat. Well, I do got that hat. Yeah. Um. 
I can drive it up to you this weekend and I can just drop it. Just send in the mail, will I? Okay then. Yep, yeah, alright, cheerio. Hey Dave, remember I was telling you about how I was judging those Christmas homes? Well, that's the hat I was wearing. I often wonder what really happened that night. I don't know if it's got to do with the man upstairs or something I said. That tree. Or maybe it was something to do with Dave. You know, the other day I heard him on the phone talking to this guy, Roscoe, who was having a bit of trouble and that, and he said, why don't you take a leaf out of Tomo's book? Huh. <laughs> nah, it's a good feeling. Anyway, that's me story, and I'm sticking to it. Jesus, I was thinking just the other day Could you take our Christmas and make it every day? I know we wouldn't fight as much, I'm sure we wouldn't cry If we could learn to love again would you give us one more try? Cause I know that we've gone far too long Still looking for love And maybe we'd have more Time to dance and time to sing Wandering life if we all had wings We could imagine Almost anything today. I'm gonna make it like a Christmas day today. Yeah, Mum and Dad got that one over there in the reindeer sleigh. I've got a little one on the dining room table. Yeah. I just like that. I mean, it doesn't really do a lot, but I just like it. It's like down on a rumble bridge when it goes over the other side. It's like... What, what happened? Yeah. Listen, listen to the noise. I didn't do it so fast. Oh, and there's a little dolly over there skipping on a rope. Oh, I like the little sandwich going around and around. Yeah, that's the worst from the kids. Oh, she gets so excited. <laughs> Did you win a prize again this year? No. So many houses. Oh, God.